Hi, my name is Ryan Cooney. I'm the product owner of a brand new product called Geocortex Reporting. Today I'd like to give you a sneak peek of what this product is, how you can use it, and how you would deploy it in your applications. Let's have a look. Geocortex Reporting is a brand new product that you can use with Geocortex Essentials applications, Web App Builder applications, or you could just use it on its own. Uh, the first thing about it is it's a web-based interface for authoring your reports. Um, and I'm going to sign in to this using my ArcGIS identity. Um, this could use ArcGIS Online or it could use your own intranet ArcGIS portal or ArcGIS Enterprise. Uh, now the experience um, that we're going to get inside Geocortex Reporting is very similar to the experience that um, we get inside Geocortex Workflow. Uh, so they share some common themes and patterns. Uh, so we can see here at this dashboard that I've got some options for creating new reports. I can also see my recent reports, um, or I can browse my own items and find reports that are stored uh, as items in ArcGIS Online in this case. Uh, I'm just going to create a brand new blank report. Um, and what I get is a design surface that uh, allows me to drag and drop components out of this toolbox onto the design surface. So if I wanted to add a title to my report, just add one here, I can resize it uh, and do various things to modify the appearance of this. So if I want to change the font size, I've got all kinds of controls to, to take care of that. Now that's something very simple like a title, but um, pretty much all the reports that uh, people want to author are going to be bound to some sort of data. Uh, so for my example today, I'm just going to show you uh, a map service. So this is just a, a sample service provided by Esri. It's got an ambulances layer, so if I want to create a report based on ambulances, um, I'm going to need a data source. Um, and we're able to set up data sources that point to various ArcGIS or relational database services. Um, and in this case, oops, uh, what I'm going to do is add one of those databases. So this sample server 5. Uh, this wizard is going to explore that ArcGIS server service and present a list of all the layers, fields, etc. that are available to report on. So if I select basically all the fields from the ambulances layer and add that to my report, it now shows up um, in a list that I can explore here and I can drag in components from the database into my report. Uh, so if I want the object ID field to be rendered in this part of the report, I can do that. Um, I'm just going to pull in a couple of these. So I can save the report. Um, now this is going to save an item in ArcGIS Online or ArcGIS Enterprise that represents this report. Um, and I can preview this report and see that in, in this case we're just pulling down each record. So I've got object IDs and and the names of this. So pretty simple to get up and running with a, a basic report that's pulling data from an ArcGIS layer. Now there's all kinds of things we can do. Um, there are expressions that allow us to manipulate how the field value is added. So here it's just dumping in a, a raw object ID, but if I wanted to do a string concatenation or any kind of formatting, calculated fields, um, I've got the power of expressions to be able to do that. Um, so there's labels, there's different kinds of controls like checkboxes and things to represent different states. Um, you can add images either just from a file or a URL. And again, these can be controlled with expressions. Um, you can add map images of your of the feature. So if, in this case, this is a layer with geometry. So we can add a map image that represents that feature. Um, there's all kinds of boxes, lines, tables, charts, barcodes. Um, all kinds of things that you would expect out of reporting software this is all available in here. Um, and then I'll just quickly show you a, sort of a more complete example uh, that I did earlier. So this one's a little, a little more nicely formatted. Um, it's got some lines, it's got a function that represents the date, got some nicely organized information here and a map image. Um, and I'll just quickly show you this running in a web app builder application. So this um, Actually, these yellow, yellow markers on the map represent the ambulances from that layer. Um, and there's a few ways to do this, but I can invoke the report from the action menu built into Web App Builder. And I can run that report and then I'll be able to see that, that come up. So I'm showing you Web App Builder here, but there's also uh, 
in the G-Cortex HTML5 viewer, um, a similar sort of experience that's integrated into the results list and tables. So you can see my formatted report with the raw data with a map image highlighting the specific feature. Um, so that's just a quick preview of what this reporting product is all about, um, and look forward to seeing it soon.